Hey everyone and welcome, Melissa here from Indo Empowered and today we are talking all about nausea. I know this is something that a lot of you have requested, you struggle with nausea, you don't quite know why and you want to get some simple solutions to help you through it. As with every symptom of the body, there is always a root cause to why your body may be experiencing nausea. And of course, I'm going to be showing you some of those today. If you are joining me live today, feel free to ask me questions along the way. There is a chat box where you can do that and I can see you. So feel free to say hi, send me some waves or whatever. <laughs> so I know you're watching and I would love to help you through any nausea symptoms you might have. All right. So we are going to jump over to the iPad now. All right, so we're talking about nausea and some of the factors that may be attributing to nausea. So I guess the first thing I want you to think about is if you have ever drunk any alcohol, you will know that alcohol attributes to the feeling of nausea. So the reason for this is because alcohol will make you, will affect your liver. So the liver is what your body uses to break down toxins in your body, including things like alcohol. Now, when you have a hangover, one of the key symptoms you will experience is nausea or feeling sick, wanting to throw up. So this is the toxins from the alcohol that your body is trying to get rid of. Now, when we think about nausea and this reaction to alcohol, it is possible that some of that nausea can be attributed to other toxins that you may have in your body or that you're taking into your body. And some of those may be chemical toxins, so things that are in your general environment. So these might be things that you may not even be aware of, but that you're being exposed to on a daily basis. So these could be things like um, your hair products, the things that you apply on your skin, your makeup products, you know, um, all sorts of things like even mascara, lipstick. If you think about lipstick, you are putting that on your lips and every single day those things are being absorbed into your body. And it's not necessarily like a lot, but if those lipsticks contain toxins, they are going to attribute to that toxic load on your liver. And that in turn could affect your nausea. So it is a contributor, I wouldn't say it's the biggest trigger to have um, toxic lipstick, but these are things that could be attributing to that toxic load of the liver. The liver has a lot of work to do as it is, you know, it's dealing with a lot of things. For instance, if you think about, you know, other toxins in your environment that your liver is dealing with, things in the air, things on your food, um, you know, all sorts of toxins in the environment, your liver is having to deal with all of that. And it's got, it's got quite a big workload. So what will happen is if your liver is struggling, if your liver is not supported, then one of those symptoms will be nausea. The most obvious things that have caused nausea for me in the past have been things like sugar or too much sugar and too much fat, really rich fats, you know, so things that are very, very high in fat that don't have anything to slow it down in any way. So, um, for instance, you know, if you have like a rich coconut yogurt, for instance, and you're just having that coconut yogurt and not much else, that is a lot of fat in that coconut yogurt. Now, this is a job that your liver has to process. And if your liver is struggling, it will struggle to break down this fat. And then one of those symptoms may be nausea. Now, one of the tools that you can use 
to help your body break down fat is using bitters. So there are a group of herbs called bitters and basically what they do is they stimulate um, the hydrochloric acid in your stomach but they also stimulate something called bile and this is something that will be released by the gallbladder which is attached to your liver so you've got your liver and then you've got this little pocket where it stores the bile and bile is what helps break down fats it's a little bit like when you use dishwashing liquid and it's got bubbles in it and those bubbles you know they break down the fats on in fatty pan or something that you've cooked with this is kind of what bile does and so you can use bitters which are herbal remedies to help your body stimulate this bile release which will thereby help break down fats in your diet and thereby help you with having less nausea. So some of the bitters that I really like is dandelion root and you can get dandelion root as a tea um, or you can make it seem like a coffee so you can have it with a little bit of almond milk and it's quite bitter so you know it will stimulate this bile release. You can also get bitter sprays that literally is a bunch of different herbs things like gentian is in there it might have some burdock it might have a range of different herbs in there and you spray this in your mouth and it's really really bitter it, it tastes nasty but you will notice that you will get this release of hydrochloric acid and the bile and that'll help break down some of those fats so this is something that I would recommend if you suffer with nausea a lot because obviously you have some sort of delay in this release of hydrochloric acid in your stomach and potentially you don't have enough bile production so by spraying something like a bitter spray into your mouth before you eat you will help this digestive process and that will help your body break down food better which will ultimately help you absorb your food better and when you absorb your food better you will feel well because you're getting the nutrients that you need from your food so that would be my first recommendation for you if you struggle with nausea another one that you could try is ginger so ginger is very good for lowering that feeling of nausea and one of the things that you can do is just literally get your knob of ginger and cut off a sliver of it and put that in some warm water and drink it throughout the day so the ginger is also very good as it will help your circulation so this will help with the endo as well so it'll have a dual effect by helping you with your circulation and it is also really good for your digestion so it has many many benefits but it's known to support with nausea so really lowering that experience of nausea that you may have so that is the other side of it now there are foods that are going to make you feel more nauseous than others and I've already mentioned sugar and high fat foods now the ones that are going to particularly affect this is high fat foods and particularly high processed fatty foods and foods that are produced in the wrong kinds of oils because these oils have been altered due to being in high heat so things like sunflower oil canola oil safflower soy all of these kinds of oils they've been heated to extreme temperatures to be extracted and in that process 
they've changed the molecular structure of the oil and those oils have become oxidized and when they become oxidized and then you eat those they are very toxic on your body so this means you want to avoid most foods that have been manufactured like this and this, the, there's some obvious foods, so, you know, your, your chippies that you, you know, have been made in a, you know, deep fried, so deep fried foods is, is obvious foods you want to avoid, um, you know, things that are, I don't know, what, anything that's pretty much deep fried, you know, so if you think of um, street food, most street foods have used deep fryers because they're very easy and quick to make so you know really avoiding those but some things that you may not think of are potato chips and even the ones that look healthy like you may think okay well I can eat corn chips because they're gluten-free but corn chips if you look on the packet they're often made with sunflower oil or some one of the oils that I mentioned earlier. So they are going to have a lot of those oxidized oils that are attributing to that toxic load on your liver. The other ones, um, potato chips, and then you've got you know foods that you may not think about, like even if you buy dried cranberries, they will put sunflower oil in there because I don't want them to stick together. Which is kind of sad because we really wanted to have those those cranberries, but when you have um, these s s cranberries and then you put them with the sunflower oil, now you've got this sunflower oil, which is not really natural. So this is the kind of thing that you know it's important to look at what you're eating and where those food sources are coming from because all of this is attributing to this um, load on your liver and ultimately that is going to attribute to high toxins and that will make you feel nauseous. Now when you think about toxins, there are obviously other forms of toxins that could be attributing to nausea. And these may be things like lead, there may be things like mercury, there may be environmental toxins, and you can totally be mindful of what environmental toxins are in your home. So, you know, cleaning products and what, like I said earlier, things that you put on your face and on your skin, etc. Um, these things are actually very absorbent and very absorbent into your body. So making the right choices in terms of what you put on your face and what you put on your hair and in your skin, etc. It, it all gets absorbed and that all contributes to that toxin load. Things like lead and mercury are a little bit harder to figure out and to see if those are contributing to your toxic load in your body. So that's where, you know, if, if you if you need guidance on that, we have got a program that guides you through this. It also shows you how to determine if you may have those um, heavy metals affecting you. But these are big toxin loads on the body and they will affect your overall health and your endo at the same time. So those are some of the other ones. Now with nausea, the, the biggest thing I can tell you is that when I started working on my liver and actually looking after my liver and making sure my liver was happy, my nausea went down. I used to have such bad nausea, I would get motion sickness on trains. <laughs> so. I really had a lot of issues with nausea. A lot of that had to do with being on various hormone treatments. So I was on the pill for many years. I was on various hormone treatments. And these hormone treatments all are toxic to the liver. So that's why they will affect that nausea. So, you know, this is the circle that I want you guys to kind of get. You've got a toxin 
that affects the liver and when the liver is affected you will have nausea okay so what you want to do is diminish these support the liver and then your nausea will go down so that is kind of the goal so that is a little bit of an insight on nausea my key thing that I would love for you to recognize is that you can get your nausea under control quite easily. It's really about being mindful of what you're eating, what you're putting on your body, what you're absorbing into your body, and making an effort to really support your liver. I noticed a huge shift when I started looking after my liver, how easily I could fly again because every time I used to fly I used to get sick on the plane it was really embarrassing I hated that I had such bad motion sickness and then when I started looking after my liver and not eating the foods that were attributing to that I was able to fly without any issues so I hope this is helpful if you've got any questions if you want to sign up to our next program launch it's in March next year just join us by clicking on indoempower.com forward slash soon because it's soon it's just around the corner and you will be registered to receive the early bird pricing offer and then we all get started in March we've had amazing success with women in our current program and we're so excited to see the transformations women have had they're living pain-free they're experiencing no more issues with their periods and it is such a blessing to be able to help them. So thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye!